Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Sugar Mama TV. If you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do because this is the channel that is going to change your financial future for good. Now it has just been the 10 year anniversary of the GFC and the memories and feelings of the GFC are still very much afresh even though it was 10 years ago. Now often during my financial planning meetings, clients will ask me, is there going to be another GFC? And my answer is always the same, absolutely. There will be other forms of economic crises, terrorist attacks, healthcare crises, political disasters, environmental disasters, they will all continuously happen year after year. They will just come in different levels of severity and in different disguises. But there are some very sim big similarities and characteristics that we can look out for. And most importantly, there are some really important lessons that we can learn from looking back in history so that when these crises do happen, the financial damage is limited and it can be quickly fixed and we can quickly get back on our path of wealth creation or potentially even use it as an opportunity to capitalize on and potentially leverage our financial opportunities further. But the point is we must be wise, we must be sensible and we must be informed and aware of what we're doing. So in this video, I'm sharing with you the lessons that we need to have learned going forward if we want to be sensible, wise investors from previous economic crises. Lesson number one, not looking at where we are on the investment and economic life cycle. The life cycle does not lie. When we experience euphoric times where everybody seems to be making lots of money and everything's growing in value and making great returns, these times are often experienced with the opposite of that, where the returns are negative. Unemployment might be high, interest rates might be high, consumer confidence really plummets. Now, there is a very oversimplification of this, but fear and greed drive the market. If you can learn to step back before you invest, have a look at where we are on the life cycle, whether there's value in the market, then make a decision as to when and how you are going to invest. So make sure you do your research and watch carefully before you start investing. And of course, always consider dollar cost averaging through a moving market to help smooth out your entry price. Lesson number two, looking for high returns. Now, everybody wants high returns on their money, but with very low risk. However, we can't have our cake and eat it too. The pendulum swings both ways. The more of a return you expect to receive, the bigger the risk you need to take. Now, again, you need to do your research and understand how much risk you're willing to take for that particular return. And of course, you need to be reasonable and sensible. So do your research before you invest. Lesson number three, gearing excessively. During the GFC, a lot of people who borrowed money really shouldn't have. And those people who could borrow money borrowed far too much. Now, when it comes to borrowing to invest, it can work in a very powerful way to help you build wealth. But the general rule of thumb to avoid things like margin calls is do not borrow more than an LVR of 50%. Also, I recommend that you borrow conservatively. Borrow what you can afford right now and always factor in a 3% interest rate rise so that if the cost of borrowing increases, you are not caught out. You can continue to afford to service and pay down that investment loan. So at the end of the day, borrow what you can afford right now and do not get greedy. Lesson number four, complex investment products. During the GFC, some really crappy junk style investments were structured in an exotic, complicated way where upon layer of layer of layer, they were then sold off as triple A grade investments. Now, of course, they completely fell apart. But if you come across investments that you do not understand, do not proceed until you know what you're doing, you understand the risks, and you understand that they're gonna work for you and your goals. Do all your research before you invest. And remember, sometimes the most simplest investments are often the most powerful ones. Lesson number five, not diversifying your portfolio. 
Different markets perform differently in different economic conditions. There is a negative correlation between different asset classes and different investment markets. For example, the Australian share market might be thriving while the Australian residential property market may be really struggling. Or US stocks might be on a massive rally, whereas the Asia stocks may be plateauing. It is so important that you diversify across different investment classes as well as different asset classes. By doing this, you help smooth out the overall returns and reduce the volatility. Now, this is why it is so important to understand your risk profile, because when you understand your risk profile, it then gives you a guide to work towards how to structure and build your investment portfolio. So always diversify your portfolio and asset allocation according to your risk profile. Lesson number six, hitting the panic button when an economic crisis happens. When there is a major pullback in the market and your portfolio drops in value on paper and then you panic and decide to sell your whole entire portfolio, you are crystallizing those losses. You are locking them in. And by doing that, that means you miss out on any recovery. That also means you miss out on earning any passive income that's paid during that process. And let's be really honest, you also may be missing out on a great buying opportunity where you could potentially pick up more of that investment at a lower price and lower your average entry price. So when the value of your portfolio drops, do not panic. Focus on your long-term goals. And remember, human endeavor prevails. History does repeat itself and markets do eventually recover. And lesson number seven is not having emergency money or not even attempting to pay down debt. It amazes me the amount of people out there who have no emergency money, nothing to protect them in the event of them losing their job or suffering a major health issue. It also amazes me the amount of people out there who have loans that never actually pay them down or even worse, let them accumulate and the debts get bigger and bigger. It is incredibly toxic to your financial situation and your financial health as well as mental health to be sitting in this type of situation. Yes, some debt is healthy debt in that it helps you grow your wealth, but there is a lot of toxic debt out there. We need to learn to pay that debt down and minimize it in our lives, to use debt in a helpful way that helps us build capital growth and build passive income streams and create more financial harmony and independence for ourselves. Now, if we can understand the signs of the investment market, learn from these mistakes, we are going to become much wiser, much more sensible and much more intuitive investors. And we will therefore be so much more confident and comfortable in the investment decisions that we make. We will understand the risks that we're taking and we will understand how they are all working towards our long-term financial goals. And of course, we will remain emotionally strong and rational when these economic crises happen. In fact, we may even get excited about them because we understand and can see the potential opportunity that exists within these crises. Now, if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do. I have so many videos on building up passive income streams, different types of investments, how to get out of debt, how to stay out of debt, how to build up emergency savings, how to pay for your home loan. There is a huge library of videos available for you and they are all free. And of course, please feel free to share any of these videos with family and friends that you think will benefit from these. And I will see you later in the week for either Lifestyle Love or for the following Monday for another financial video for you, Money Monday. Ciao for now.